I am going to demonstrate how I make my ricotta cheese filling that I use for stuffed shells, lasagna, any number of recipes. Um, it is very versatile and you can always mix up the ingredients a little to favor your taste, but this is how I do it. I have two cups ricotta. This is whole ricotta, whole milk ricotta. You can use the light kind, whichever you like. Two eggs. These are large eggs. Now, for the flavor, I got half cup shredded Parmesan cheese. You can use grated or shredded, whichever you prefer. The um, garlic powder, I keep it about one teaspoon if the sauce has garlic in, but if the sauce does not, you may want to add more. And I have a tablespoon of dried basil, and it's the basil leaves, it's not the ground up kind. So we put that all together. And then we mix it up. Now, like I say, I use this for a variety of recipes. But today, to show how it works, I am going to make stuffed shells or I'm going to attempt to. The reason I say attempt is when I stuff shells, some days it just doesn't happen. <laughs> anyway, you will be witness to whether or not it happens. Anyhow, we mix that up. Now it looks pretty runny, but with the eggs in there and the cheese there, it kind of binds during baking. And it should be less runny when it's done. If you have concerns about it, you can always add a little cornstarch or flour. I wouldn't recommend going too crazy with that or you're going to end up with a paste. Anyhow, that's not what you want, but set that aside for a moment. Because if you're going to make shells, I've got basil all over the counter. Okay, my casserole. Normally I make a large casserole, but due to the size of the filming area, I'm going to keep it small. So I just have a little bit of sauce that I put in the bottom. This keeps the shells from sticking and gives them a nice bed to lay on while they're cooking. I assume that's a probably a half cup, maybe three-fourths cup. Try not to make a big mess like I do. But if you do, that's all part of the game. Now the shells. Unfortunately, um, when I cook shells, they seem to always want to fall apart. So I'm going to try very hard, see there's a crack, to get them in as complete as possible. Now to cook the shells, the package instructions do plenty well. I like to do a little different method. Um, I get the water hot and then I turn it off towards the end of cooking. Now see these splits? That's going to happen a lot. If you're lucky, it won't happen. But anyway, I try to turn the water off and let the um, finish and touches happen without it boiling so they don't crack as much. However, as you can see, it's still, still a major problem for me. But if you want to see the real thing, the real way it happens, I'd rather give you an honest video than a doctored video. Okay, that should be enough for that. Some of the scraps can be used for something else. How do you stuff the shells? Well, candy dandy bag. It's easier to fill if you roll the top down. Oh, by the way, while this is happening, I got the oven heating to 350 degrees. We're just going to put enough of the filling in the bag, I don't know if you can see that, to uh, do the project here. This recipe usually makes a few more. And the leftovers I use in other things. If I don't use it all, or if I do, that's all the better. Okay, hopefully that's enough. I can always add more. And you squeeze it down a little bit, take scissors, and snip a corner off. I'm not gonna, I don't want to snip it over top here because if it gets lost in there, it's a problem. And just fill your shell. This goes a lot better than trying to spoon it in, but you can spoon it in. And if you got a broken shell especially, you can get it in there. 
I'll be honest with you, when people eat this stuff, they really don't care if the shells are broken. They just want to eat it. Now, you see, it's a big mess. Anyway, there we go. We have a little bit left over for something else. Let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. Now, that's not enough sauce. We're going to need a little more around there. And you do want some on these edges. These edges here can dry out and become very unpleasant. So you can use the sauce to keep that from being too much of a problem. Just circle around. You can make these a lot prettier if you want. But I usually aim mostly for flavor and pretty second. So you'll find a lot of my cooking is not not what you would see on Gordon Ramsay or one of those. Always a mess. Always something. And as I tell you in most of my videos, wiping the edges of the pan will save you a lot of misery later. Plus, I don't want to burn in the oven. Now, remember I said the oven was 350 degrees. So, this is a half cup of mozzarella. You can use pizza blend or even more parmesan if you want. But we're just going to scatter that over there. Since there's cheese inside the ricotta cheese, we don't need as much on top. Also, if you get it too thick on top, you won't be able to tell where your shells are when you go to spoon them out. So, I'm going to cover that. Now because the shells are cooked and everything's basically cooked except for the uh, cheese, boy am I making a mess, except for the cheese, the um, inside has some egg, so we only need to cook it about 40 minutes like this, and then we're going to take the top off and let that brown a little bit in the oven. So I'm going to see you when it's done, and I'll show you what it looks like. We baked this and got it a little bit... Not real brown on top, but a little bit. But here's the problem. Like I told you, if you don't wipe that, it causes burning. Unfortunately, that just happens a lot. But anyway, you let it set for a couple minutes after you take it out of the oven. It's easier to dish out that way. And I'm going to go around the edges a bit to loosen the cheese. Now, mainly my focus of this recipe is the ricotta cheese filling. But, I wanted to show you how it performs inside a recipe. Ooh, look at that gooey cheese. Let's see if I can catch it. <laughs> I caught it. Alright, now. I want to show you how, how the ricotta cheese filling looks. It's still really hot. You open it up. And you can see it's in there. I tend to like it best in lasagna because stuffing shells is a pain. But if you're wanting to impress somebody, this is the way to go. Now, I say it doesn't look really good right here. And it would probably look better if I let it cool a little more. But you can pull the shells out one at a time very carefully with the filling. And serve as many as you want to each person. I hope you enjoyed the recipe, and I would like to hear how you used the ricotta cheese filling in your recipes. And I will have a video sometime on how to make ricotta cheese. But for now, enjoy. See you later.